Hey guys, this is Eric with Cobb Tuning, one of the calibrators here. Uh, we wanted to do a little quick tutorial on um, some of the new features that are coming out for the Mustang, uh, mainly trans brake and the bump box. Uh, these features are going to be uh, enabled through the access port, so we can kind of show you how to do that here. Um, so you're just going to want to go down to Tune, um, Adjustments. In this menu you're going to see a, a bunch of different adjustments you can make. Um, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to enable Trans Brake. Just simply set that to 1, hit Save. Um, you can also do a two-step Trans Brake. Um, this will allow you to set a specific RPM you want to use the Trans Brake at. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. And if you scroll up, you can change the uh, RPM limit for the two-step. So right now it's set for 2,500 RPM. We're going to go ahead and use that as the default value. And uh, the bump box, you're going to want to go ahead and uh, change this delay. So what this delay does is it's the duration of the bump. So we're going to set this to about 15. That seems to work decently well on street tires. So now that we have everything set up, we're gonna kinda go through uh, the process of, of using all these features. So for trans brake, you're gonna just simply put the car in drive, you're gonna left foot brake the car, you're gonna go wide open throttle on your right foot. Um, this will hold the car stationary at your 2500 RPM uh, two-step limit. And uh, once you're ready to launch the car, you're simply just gonna back off uh, on the uh, brake pedal and the car will launch forward. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So now we're going to go through the bump box feature. Uh, bump box is going to be something uh, good for guys that like to drag race their cars. Um, this is going to allow the car to be on the trans brake. You're going to hit the set plus button on the steering wheel and that's going to kind of bump the car forward. Um, what that does is it allows you to pre-stage and then deep stage uh, without ever getting off of the trans brake. So we're going to go ahead and go through that now. It's the same procedure for trans brake. Uh, left foot on the brake, right foot to watt, and then we're just going to simply hit the set plus button and that's going to bump the car forward. So one more cool thing you can do with these features is you can actually use the trans brake and go directly into burnout mode. Uh, so what that's going to allow you to do, so if you're drag racing the car, you can get the car on the trans brake, kind of load up the transmission, get everything going, and then start your burnout like in the water box before you go to stage the car. So we're going to kind of run through that process here really quick. Uh, what, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the car into track mode. So you'll just use the switches down at the bottom, put the car into track mode. Once it's in track mode, you're also going to want to turn off traction control fully. So you'll hold on the traction control off button, I believe it's about 6 seconds, and that'll turn uh, advanced track off, and it'll come up with a little display on the dash saying advanced track off. Uh, once you have that done, go ahead and put the car into S, um, you're going to manually shift the car, and then what you're going to want to do, same thing to get on the trans brake, left foot brake the car, hit the set button. As soon as you come off the trans brake, you're going to want to hit the cruise control off button. What that's going to do is that's going to transition the car into burnout mode. Get on trans brake, and we're going to go ahead and transition over to 